what's up guys it's Rachel and I am back today with a thrift haul um, so I went to three different local area thrift stores and I only got to spend about 45 minutes to an hour in each one which for me is not a lot because I like to you know take a whole day or afternoon and spend two or three hours in one store really go through everything so I haven't had a ton of time to spend in thrift stores lately and this is me like running in when I've got like a couple minutes and um, yeah I definitely had to change my strategy up a little bit to make that work um, but I also picked up some home items some hard goods which I don't normally pick up I am a shoes and clothing reseller Primarily, you know, I sell on, on sites like eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, um, but I have not really ventured into the home items or the hard goods very much. However, I have been watching entirely too much YouTube lately because I have been so inspired to branch out and um, pick up some of those hard goods that could also potentially be worth a lot of money. So um, I did pick up a few things. I'm going to say it's been uh, kind of hit or miss with those things. So hang in there. For my haul, it's a bunch of literally random stuff. So I've got two piles, one of clothing, one of shoes and hard goods. I'm gonna just jump right in. Um, by the way, if you like videos like this, I do thrift hauls and mystery boxes. I share my reseller journey here on YouTube. So subscribe to my channel. I've uh, really enjoyed putting content out for you guys and I would love to see you again in a future video. So let's dive in. Uh, let's see, these are Stuart Weitzman. They're like a suede pump. They're a size 10. Um, these I probably actually won't list. They're gonna go right to the real reel, which um, I do a monthly video also on what I sent to the real reel. So you'll probably see these again, um, but I did pick these up. Um, I have pretty good luck selling Stuart Weitzman on the real reel. Um, so when I find them in good enough condition, I pretty much always pick them up. Same with these Stuart Weitzman dressy. They're very strappy, um, ankle tire ties around the ankle. Um, I don't know what size these are. I didn't actually look. I got so excited because these are in really good condition. They're a little dusty, but otherwise they look really good. So I guess I didn't even look for the size, um, but that's okay. They're pretty. The Goodwill I was at yesterday, like the shoe section was full of shoes, like over full, but it looked like a tornado had gone through there. And a lot of the shoes I found in there were not in very good condition. Um, so it was kind of crazy. Normally my Goodwills don't look like that. Um, and I honestly don't remember which of these items came from which day. So they're all in together. These are Vionic. They're a suede ankle booty. Um, I would say Vionic is a bolo. Um, I would pick up pretty much any Vionic shoes I found as long as they're not completely torn up. Uh, they are a comfort shoe, an orthotic shoe, uh, and they sell pretty fast and for a decent amount. So these are excellent condition. Um, that I think was a good find, probably one of my best finds. So these are super exciting guys. And this is the first time I have ever found this brand. Yes, they are Prada. Um, they are not in the greatest shape. You can see there's some wear there uh, on the heel, definitely, uh, and on the bottoms. They're pretty well worn, but uh, I would say they probably have been worn quite a bit, but the actual shoe itself is in um, pretty good condition, I would say. And um, for that reason, I'm going to say they're probably authentic. Um, they were $6 at my local Goodwill, so I'm going to see what I can do to clean them up. And um, I think even in the condition that they're in, because they're Prada, they will still sell for a decent amount. So I am super, super excited about these. I can cross this brand off my bucket list. Yay. All right. 
Um, these are some coach flats. I don't pick up a ton of coach shoes. Uh, they don't really, it, it really depends on what it is, how old it is. Um, some of the comps are just not great on coach shoes anymore, but I figured these were pretty decent. They are, they've got some scuffing. There's a little bit of a um, imperfection there, but, um, these were six dollars so i figured i would give them a shot i figured i could at least get 20 25 on these and i'll take it i love the color of those two i think i was drawn to the color so i have made it a point to pick up more athletic shoes um me personally being somebody that buys a lot of athletic shoes for myself because i do a lot of athletic activities um I feel funny about used athletic shoes um, just because, you know, especially if they're worn only indoors, they could have a lot more miles on them, so to speak. Like, and you, you really need the um, support of an athletic shoe, like the integrity of the shoe, um, the support it provides. To a lot of people, that's very important. And I know, like, I've heard people, like, on Instagram and stuff laugh when people ask, like, how many miles are on the shoe. But it's actually a very important thing to know. So I'm very picky about getting athletic shoes because I don't know how worn they are. And um, I guess it's just hard to say sometimes. You can look at them and think they're in good condition, but they might actually be really well-worn. Anyway, um, I did decide to pick these up because these actually look like they were minimally worn. Um, the actual integrity of the sole is there. Um, these are Asics. And because they look so nearly new, I was willing to pick these up. Of course, I will disclose that I don't know how many miles are on them. Um, but these were $6 again, so I figured they were worth taking a chance on. Comps were pretty good on this style of Asics, so uh, I, I must have left behind. Um, gosh, like I said, there were so many shoes this day that were like good shoes, but not in very good condition. I, I found several pairs of Brooks, a pair of Hoka's, several other pairs of Asics and Adidas, and I just left them all because they were all just like slightly too worn for my comfort. Um, so yeah, I also picked up these Asics. I think these came from a different, this was not the same day. So these are, I don't know. I don't know much about Asics, um, but these are in decent condition. Also, the tread is a little bit worn, so I don't think I'm going to get quite as much for these. Um, but I liked the color on these, honestly. And um, comps still looked pretty good on these as well. So, what else do we have here? Um, okay, these are Stuart Weitzman again. I don't know. These are fun, fun bows on the heels. You know, the bottoms are a little bit worn, but they're overall, they're like a satin. There's no scuffing really on the satin itself. So, uh, was glad to pick these up. They're size nine. These are Nike. These are men's. Men's 11s. Um, these don't have a style name. But of course, I'll, I'll look it up by the style number before I list them. Um, comps were pretty good on these too. And again, just looking by the tread, uh, there's a little bit of dirt in there and stuff. But I mean, these are virtually um, unworn just looking at the tread. So I felt okay about these. I've got another pair of Coach. These I was so on the fence about. Honestly, I probably should have just left them. But... They are in decent condition. Uh, again, the bottoms are like a little dirty, but otherwise very, very little wear. Um, so I did pick these up. These are the Jenny style, size eight and a half, which is a, a good size. So a uh, little cleaning up and these should be good to go. These were an exciting find, Tory Birch. They are some um, ballet flats. I have to figure out, I think they had a, 
an exact style name in here somewhere. Um, yeah, there's a size and stuff, but it doesn't say a style name. So these are in okay condition. They're a little bit worn. There's a little blue marking on the inside there, but you can't see it on the outside. So I'll have to see if I can clean these up. Um, I did pay up for these a little bit. These usually, um, usually the shoes at my Goodwill are all $6. They do like blanket pricing. These were marked up to $9. There are a few of my area Goodwills that have started to price up certain brands of shoes. And this is one of those places, but um, because they're Tory Burch, I was okay with paying $9 for these. I'm confident that they will sell um, and I will probably at least triple my money. I, I will probably list these for 50 and um, maybe more. I don't know. I, I have to like double check the comps, but uh, I was okay with $9 on these. So these, at first I thought I found teaks and I was super excited, but these are not teaks. They are very uh, similar, I guess, construction wise. They're ballet flats, but the brand on these is Um, Yo Yossi Samira. I have never heard of them before. Here, let me show you. Yo Yo, I can't even say it. Yossi Samira, and um, they piqued my interest because they look like teaks. And when I ran comps, they were still selling for forty or so. I'll put it here for you guys. Um, but. For six dollars, I decided to pick them up. These are in pretty pretty good condition. Again, the treads are relatively unworn, so um, yeah, I was excited to find these. And it's one of those things like I'm never heard of it, but I'm willing to give it a try. Um, plus, I've never found real teaks, so I'll just live vicariously through these guys. Couple more pair of shoes, guys. Again, more Stuart Weitzman, and um, these will again go to the real, real. But they're espad. How do you say this? Espadrille, espadrille. I I don't know. Um, I feel like I always say it wrong. But the good thing about being a reseller is you don't know how to, you don't have to know how to pronounce things to sell them. Um, I know how to spell this, and that's good enough um, when I do my listings. So. These are pretty, they're glittery, and um, they'll be in my real, real box for sure. I got these tiny little Michael Kors baby sandals. They're size eight. They're adorable. For $3, um, I figured that would be a quick flip. Definitely in season. People are looking for those right now. Another pair of baby shoes. These are baby Nikes. Um, they're a size 5C, relatively unworn. They are a little bit dirty, but I should be able to clean these up very easily. And last pair of shoes. These are some Nike Air Force Ones. Uh, these are, I think they're men's. Yeah, men's 11. Definitely they need to be cleaned up, but the good thing about um, these Air Force Ones, they clean up very easily with a magic eraser. Um, these, I feel like, when are these even from? These are on the tag. They say, oh, 2019. Okay. So these are newer ones, but like I wore these when I was in high school and, um, they have really made a comeback lately. Um, or maybe they never even went out of style. I guess I don't know, but, um, I, you know, I'm, I'm glad to find some Air Force ones. These should be a quick flip. Okay. That's it for the shoes. Um, I guess I might as well go through the couple of home items I found. So this is a Build-A-Bear. I found two other Build-A-Bears uh, a couple weeks ago, and I still have them. They haven't sold, but this was a dollar. Um, I feel like this is a sought-after brand. So even if I sold it for 10 or $15, again, I am in major experimenting experimentation mode with home goods toys all of that so i picked this guy up he's got a sticker on his face it's just a sticker uh he's not he's not damaged he's in really good condition uh 
This is some yarn. This was actually, I didn't pay for this. This was in the pocket of one of the jackets I bought and I didn't realize it was in there till I got home. I certainly didn't put it there. Uh, so I've got some fancy fur yarn bonus. This is Mercy and Co. And I was actually like hanging out over by the section that has like throw pillows and sheets and stuff, which I never really looked through that stuff. But I was like over in that section going through my cart checking comps and stuff. And I saw this sitting there and it's obviously brand new and uh, it was $3.99. And when I looked it up, this is from Anthropology, and comps were uh, $30 to $40 brand new for this. So I grabbed it. Um, even if I sell it for $20, I, I paid $4. So I just grabbed it because it was like there. All right, so I bought some kitchenware dishes. I, dishes, kitchen, yeah. Um, I feel like I don't know what I'm doing with this stuff. Um, but I bought this set of four. These are Smithsonian Institution, Jane Webb Loudon, Botany, Botany. It's like their Botany collection. Um, I thought they were pretty. There's a set of four of them. They're in excellent condition. I kind of regret picking these up because the comps are not that great. Um, but now that I have them, I'm going to try to sell them. Hopefully they don't sit here too long because I really don't have room for them. And then I got this guy. This is a gravy boat. Um, it caught my eye because it's got this like gold trim and I didn't see any like cracks or anything. It's in really great condition. The brand is Orleans by Lennox. I'll show you the bottom. Orleans by Lennox. And when I ran comps on this, um, there was one sold solo by itself for like $59.95. So, um, you know, I, I grabbed this. This was $2.99. Um, it's one of those pieces that came with, I think, like a really big set. And, um, you know, it's a, like if you need maybe like the replacement, maybe you broke your gravy boat and you want to replace it so that you have the whole set. Um, even if I don't get $60 for it, I figured it's worth picking up for $3. Um, and then these guys, so I'll tell you a little story real quick behind this. So these are pi uh, vintage corning ware and they have that cool little fruit vegetable, um, picture on it. And so there's two dishes and one lid um and then there's this like saucepan and it says la Les, sauge on it and so again i was in these stores i only had like 45 minutes and so i saw these and i know that vintage corning wear is something to look for um and so when i looked these up and i'll show you the comps i found on ebay or like the ones that were for sale, when I looked these up, I was like, oh my goodness, what did I even find here? Like, this is crazy. And so, you know, I like ran through Goodwill, like, you know, keeping my cart all close because I'm like, I don't even know what I have here. It's like, I need to check out and run before anybody realizes I have these. Um, but then I got home and I actually sat down and looked at comps and I, I don't think that um, what I have here is worth anything. I think it's just... Um, it is vintage, but this does not have a lid. These two, I, oh, that's my, my good old receipt. These two only had, um, one lid and the lid that it does have has a crack in it. So I don't know. I think for the three of them, I paid like eight bucks. So I'm going to probably just try to sell it as a set since they have all the same little design on them, but I don't think it's actually worth very much. And then I did find this one other Corningware, uh, vintage Corningware pan, a saucepan. Again, no lid, but uh, it is vintage. So um, I bought it for $3 and hopefully I can make a couple bucks on it. The comps weren't super great on this either. So uh, this is how you learn though. We have to experiment and um, I guess just try I figured the risk was relatively low. 
on those things because the price was pretty low. It's just a matter of like now I have to store them or sell them off really cheap to get rid of them. So whatever. It's all right. Okay, really quickly because I know this video is getting kind of long, but I'm going to go ahead and go through the clothing that I picked up. So this is a Free People um, lacy sweater or blouse size medium. Yes, guys, I still pick up Free People. This one was $6. This is um, Knitted and Knotted. This is an anthropology brand. It's got this little charm as the tag. This was adorable. It's a lightweight um, cardigan with a lacy back. The lace is sheer, so um, definitely great for layering. Um, I figured it's a good season for it. And I do pretty well with this brand. Um, this is a Pierre Cardin, obviously an older style. It's like a shrug. Um, it's got metallic stitching. It's obviously open, like almost like it's not mesh, but it's like got a mesh kind of pattern. Um, this is a ribbed cardigan and I'm sure this is vintage or definitely older, but this is Obermeyer. And um, if you're not familiar with the brand Obermeyer, I would say pick it up when you find it. Obermeyer is like a, an outdoorsy brand. So I know they sell like ski coats and ski pants, um, layering pieces for, for cold weather outdoor sports. And they sell it at like REI and, and stores like that. And it's very uh, expensive, brand new, but it is very high quality. So um, you know, if you're not familiar with skiing and all that, you might not be familiar with Obermeyer, but definitely keep your eye out for that. Uh, these are Nike Zonal Strength Running Leggings, women's um, Nike Athletic Wear can be hit or miss, but these are in like new condition. So I grabbed those. This is a Lucky Brand blouse and actually, oh, I guess it's like safety pinned here. I'm secretly hoping this uh, this fits me because this is so cute and it's my size. Um, so you might see it on me, but it's definitely perfect for the season. This is a Banana Republic linen blend sweater. It is a size extra, extra small, which is not so awesome, but it is linen blend and it is new with tags. And it was 50% off, so I only paid $3 for it. And uh, I'm hoping somebody needs one of these. These are Nike, what is this, like Nike 6.0? I don't know, I've seen this tag before, but uh, these are boys' swim trunks. I figure right now you can't go wrong with swim trunks. It's time that people need swim trunks. And um, it's got a cool pattern, and it's Nike, so... This was adorable. This is a Nike onesie, like track onesie for a baby. And uh, it's a size six months. Aw. I love the neon. I love that it's like a hoodie, but it's a onesie. And um, I've been trying to get more into baby clothes and kids clothes. Um, same with this here. So this is T, the brand is T. And this is a popular brand to sell on Kittizen. And I've been really trying to establish myself more on Kittizen. So I've been looking for things that um, I can put on Kittizen. So um, I picked this up. This is T, the dress. But I guess we'll see how it goes. It's my first time finding that brand. Um, this too for Kittizen. It's Chaser is the brand, but it's for girls. It's a size 12. Uh, it's like a dress. It's like a knit t-shirt material, stretchy and comfy, um, new with tags. So it was $3. This is REI. This is like a rash guard for little girls. So it's hooded, but it's like swimsuit material. Um, anything REI, I, I like to pick up. Um, this is a size 14, I think. Yeah, large 14, 16. So I anticipate that will sell pretty quickly. Check this out. So cute. Um, this is, 
Actually, it says there's two bodysuits, but I only have one here, which that's okay. It's new with tag, and it's organic cotton. The brand is um, Touched by Nature. So it was only $3, and anything that's organic cotton really sells quickly right now. So I figured that was worth a shot. This is M. Megashoni. I actually found this in the kids' section also, so it was only $3. Um, but this is just a simple kind of balloon sleeve sweater. It's another brand I sent to the Real Real, so that was a fun find. Um, I've actually never picked up this brand either. This is Kala or Kalia, Kalia by Carrie Underwood, and this is like an athletic vest. It's got that kind of scuba material. Um, I've never picked this up. I've always passed on this, but I hear other people on YouTube. Um, talking about this brand and how it sells for them so I figured I would give it a try um, this is a very quality athletic kind of vest so I guess we'll see so this is Robert Graham it's not one of his fancy like pattern shirts it's just a, it's a basic polo but it's my first time finding this brand in the wild. If you do find this brand, I would suggest picking it up. It resell or it sells for um, quite a bit at like Bloomingdale's and Neiman Marcus and places like that. And uh, it's usually very unique, bold colors, bold patterns. So that's one to look out for. This is Elizabeth and James, and I feel like this is kind of an older tag. I have to look this up, but it's a basic black, um, kind of long line blazer. But I picked it up based on the brand because I know that is a higher end brand. I found some more figs. So this is, um, if you're not familiar with figs, it's um, like scrubs for medical workers, healthcare workers. And I picked up a pair of men's figs it was a set um i picked it up the other day i've had it listed like a day and i got full asking price for it 65 dollars. so this was another full set but this is women's it's got the pants and the shirt so for 11 dollars for the two pieces um, i was very happy with the last set i picked up and so i found another i was happy to grab it this is figs as well these are just pants though there's no shirt with them uh, size small. I think these are women's. That's okay. I would say the pants I could sell by themselves for $30, $35, and I paid $6. This is Misook. I hear people talk a lot about this brand, and I have picked up a few pieces in the past and had no luck, zero. But I couldn't leave this behind for some reason. It just feels so nice. And I kind of think the, the details, like the white contrasting, it's just really classy. So I don't know, maybe shame on me for picking that up, but we'll try. So the one store I was at, um, they were closing and I had to like get in line, but I was like frantically scrambling to find things like just while I was standing in line. And I'm glad I started looking through because I found this Ted Baker button down. It's a men's, men's size small. Actually, this might be a men's size five. Um, so that's exciting. I'll take some Ted Baker while waiting to check out. This is Joie. Older tag, but this is 100% silk. And it's, um, it's a cold shoulder blouse. This um, had a flaw I think I found once I got home. Um, yeah, there's a little, there's a little tiny imperfection. I don't even know if you can see it. It's like in the fabric. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna list this and disclose or I might. I mean, I bought it, right? Um, so you know I love to frantically go through the men's blazers when I'm in the checkout line. And so I found two really nice pieces. This is Armani Collisioni. And it's a pinstriped blazer. 
So that'll probably go to the real real. And then I need your help with this one, guys. Um, if you're still watching, by the way, thank you very much. Uh, this is the last piece. And I, again, frantically grabbed this while I was in the checkout line, but it is Burberry. And um, it's 100% wool. I'm, I'm sure it's vintage just by the, the tag there. Um, so I was super excited. This was $7. Of course, I grabbed it. But now that I'm looking at it, there are some flaws. So there is a button missing there. And this button on this side is like cracked. So I don't know, guys, help me out. What do you think? Should I, should I list this still and just disclose the button flaws? Or I don't know, do you think it's not worth listing? I, I'm not super keen on listing things that are damaged. Let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, I'd be interested to know what you would do with a piece that was high end, but had that kind of flaw. So I'm, by the way, fixing it myself is probably not an option. I don't sew. <laughs> so um, before you suggest that, mm, I probably wouldn't be willing to do that. Um, but that's everything that I picked up. So three different thrift stores, like 45 minutes to an hour in each one. Not bad, right? I think I did all right. So um, thank you again. If you made it to the end, you're awesome. I know this was a long one, but I appreciate you joining me. And, um, you know, hopefully we can learn together about some of this stuff and, and um, we can all grow our businesses uh, as we learn about different things that we should be picking up. So if you liked this video, definitely drop me a like. I would totally appreciate it. And subscribe to my channel. I um, I do lots of reseller content, mystery boxes. I you know, tell you guys about what I sent to the real real and just what I do that works for me in my reseller business. So um, you know, definitely subscribe to my channel if you're interested in seeing future videos. I would certainly appreciate it. Well, have a good day, you guys, and I will see you in the next one.